August was my second profitable month in a row trading the opening range breakout strategy. The results were steady and positive and in this video I'll walk through each trade from the month and review how the bot performed. At the end I'll also talk about an improvement idea that I plan to test out next. Here's how the bot performed in August. I had 8 trades in total, although there were actually 9 signals but the trading bot missed one of them. I'll come back to that later on and explain what actually happened. Out of those 8 trades there were 4 winners and 4 losers giving me a 50% win rate. The bot achieved a reward to risk ratio of 1.41. I aim for one and a half times but slippage and spread eat into that and lower the value. Overall the bot made 2.36% for the month. I don't aim for a specific amount every month but I know plenty of people do so I'm curious to know what you guys target each month. Do you aim for a specific percent amount or maybe a cash target? Let me know in the comments. Now let's have a look at the trades that the bot took this month. But first I'm just going to do a quick recap of the way that I trade this strategy for anyone who's new to the channel. This is a 15 minute opening range breakout. I'm here on a 15 minute chart and I set my time zone to New York. So that's UTC minus four. I then look for the 930 candle, which is the market open in New York. And that's this green candle here. Once I've got that, I'm going to mark out the high and the low. So I mark the high and then do the same thing with the low. This gives me my opening range. After that, I'm just waiting for a candle to break out through this range. There are different ways to do this and I know that some people will enter as soon as the price is broken like on this green wick up here but I prefer to wait for the candle to actually break through and then close above. So in this case my signal is this candle here because it's the first one to actually break out and then close outside of that range. I then enter at the open of the next one so this here would be my entry and I'll place my long entry here just to visualize things a little bit. After that the stop loss goes at the bottom of the range so down here and I target one point. 0.5 to 1 reward to risk. So this take profit would be somewhere around here and this would have been a profitable trade. There are additional rules that I've developed like I don't trade after the 12 o'clock candle which would be here so that would be my cutoff for entering a trade and I also don't trade ranges that are either too small or too big based on the recent ATR. I'm not going to go into all of that just now but I'll leave a link to the detailed video where I explain all these rules and I show the back test as well. Now we can jump into the trades that the bot took this month but let me just say nothing in this video is trading advice. This is just how I trade the opening range breakout. The first trade opportunity came on the 4th of August. I've marked out the opening range with this white box here and you might notice right away that this opening candle is quite big and as a result the opening range itself is also pretty big. I mentioned earlier that I use a filter to avoid taking trades where the range is too big or too small. Well in this case the range was too big and my trading bot stayed out of this one entirely. The reason I do that is because if we follow the rules here the entry would have happened after this breakout candle so I would have entered on the open of the next one but the stop loss goes at the bottom of the range and the result here is that the stop loss becomes massive so it's then more difficult to hit my profit target and the trade can stay open for many days. That's not what I want with this strategy. I'm looking for trades that are over and done with quickly ideally within the same day. Even though this one actually would have eventually gone on to hit the profit target it took three days and my capital would have been tied up for all of that time so there was no trade on the fourth. Then we go over to the sixth and this is where I actually got my first trade of the month. This time the opening range was a decent size. There were a few false breakouts initially but then finally I got a confirmed breakout on this candle here. The bot entered at the open of the next one and this was a really nice trade. It never looked back and just moved straight towards the take profit target. So it was a good start for the month. We then jump ahead to the 8th of August and here I got a breakout immediately. So the 9.30 candle is the one that defined the range. The 9.45 candle is the one that broke through. It was quite a big breakout which meant that a lot of the breakout had already happened and my entry was quite high up but it still met the strategy criteria. So the bot took this trade and it actually took quite a while but eventually this one did go on to hit the profit target as well. So that's two trades and two winners so far. So then we jump ahead to the 12th of August and this was a weird trade because the bot never actually took this one and the reason for it was to do with the breakout candle. If I zoom in a little bit here you can see that the open of this candle is pretty much at the top of the range. My trading rules say that the breakout candle needs 
needs to open below the top of the range and close above it. Well, in this case, the candle didn't open below the range. It opened at the top of the range. This small detail meant that this trade didn't meet the strategy criteria and the trading bot didn't take it, which was disappointing because it went on to hit the profit target. I will have to fix this bug in my trading bot. And the way I'm going to do that is by checking the breakout candle as well as the previous candle before it. So now the check is going to be if the previous candle closed inside the range, but the breakout candle closed above the range, then that gives me the trade signal instead. And I think that small improvement should avoid this situation happening again in the future. We then come over to the 13th, which was my first losing trade of the month. There was a breakout on this green candle here, which actually reversed quite a lot, but it still closed above the opening range. So it was a valid signal. The bot then got in on the open of the candle after that. And well, pretty much within the next two candles, I got stopped out. My strategy doesn't currently look at candlestick patterns, but I guess this one is a very bearish indicator. So maybe that could have been a bit of a warning sign as to what was coming next. But at the same time, it's easy to say that kind of thing with hindsight. Either way, the 13th turned out to be a losing trade. We then go to the next day, which was the 14th of August. And here again, there was a breakout immediately after the opening range was formed. The bot entered over here at the open of the next candle. Initially, price did waver a little bit and actually came close to the stop loss. But then it turned around and moved towards the profit target, giving me my third win for the month. Then on the 19th, there was another trade that would have been a losing trade if my bot had taken it. There was this breakout candle here. So the entry would have been at the open of the next one, which pretty much never went in my direction. It would have stopped out within the next two candles. However, this range again was too big. So using my ATR filter, the bot decided that the range is too big to enter this trade. In reality, this may have just been a little bit of luck because this trade never really showed any sign of going in the right direction to begin with. But it's a good result for me because it meant that I skipped a losing trade. We then come over to the 21st, which unfortunately was a losing trade and I couldn't get away from this one. Price initially broke out to the downside, then broke out again to the upside. So the bot entered here. Things did initially look pretty good, but then all this choppy movement eventually got me stopped out at the bottom down here. So this gave me another loss for the month. The 22nd was another weird trade. Here, I was kept out of the trade because of this opening range. This doesn't actually look that big because the candle here is so enormous. So everything else is scaled accordingly. But actually, if you look at the candles just before and compare them to the opening range, then you can see how much bigger the opening range was than the average before it. So again, my ATR filter kept me out of this trade and it might look like I missed a good one. But in reality, this breakout candle was so big that by the time I would have entered, I would have been way up here. That would have given me a massive stop loss and subsequently a massive profit target as well. So I'm glad that the bot skipped out on this one. However, this is a great example of where entering immediately on the breakout would have worked a bit better. If my strategy didn't wait for a close above and just entered immediately on the break, then it would have happened on the wick of this candle here. And if I was to put a trade on here and stick my stop loss at the bottom of the range, then one and a half times take profit would have easily been hit on this green candle. But again, these things are obvious in hindsight. I think the important thing is just to pick a method and then stick with it. And then we come to the 25th, which was my next trade. It actually took a while for a confirmed breakout to come, but eventually I got a small breakout here. The result was that the entry was pretty much right at the opening range top. It looked like a decent trade to begin with, and it actually came reasonably close to my take profit target, but ultimately turned around and stopped me out later on. Then on the 26th, I had another winning trade. This one didn't go as smoothly as I would have liked. I had the breakout candle here, got in on the open of the next one, and price immediately moved against me. And it was looking like I was going to get stopped out. But then things turned around and eventually it went on to hit the profit target. But this was to be the last winning trade of the month, which brings me to the 27th. This is the last trade of the month. And unfortunately, it was a losing one. I had a nice clean breakout here. And initially things were looking OK. It was moving in the right direction. A little bit of a retracement back to the opening range bounced off and it was moving again towards the take profit. So at this point, I was thinking this looked like another winning trade. It then kind of got stuck in this sideways movement before this weird weird candle occurred. The result was that I was stopped out instantly before it rebounded back up to close above the opening range. However, that didn't matter because it then came back down and would have stopped me out down here anyway. There was something that I talked about at the end of the last video that I wanted to test out, and that was to wait for a pullback before entering into a trade. If I change the time frame for this trade on the 27th to the five minute chart, then I could see how this trade could have gone a little bit differently. 
The way this would work is that I would have my initial breakout, then there would be a pullback, followed by a continuation. And the idea would be to buy at the pullback instead of my initial breakout. So let's see how this would have looked on this failed trade here on the 27th. I've got this initial breakout here. It goes quite far before there is eventually a pullback. And the pullback actually retests the high of the opening range before reversing and continuing on in the same direction as before. I've seen a lot of examples of people trading it exactly this way, and they often couple it together with some kind of candlestick confirmation. This red candle here, the one that retested it, also formed a bullish candle pattern. So potentially entering at the close of this candle, or maybe even the break of that candle, with a stop loss at the bottom of it, would give a much better entry, primarily because the stop loss would be so much tighter. It would be down here, rather than all the way down at the bottom of the opening range. That's the theory of it, but it's very easy to see that with an example in hindsight. It's something that I will need to test out properly, and once I've completed that backtest, I'll make a video sharing those results. To make sure that you don't miss that video, hit subscribe to get notified. And if you want to see the full details of this existing strategy, including the backtest, then click the video on the screen.